All right, there we go. Hey, folks, this is Grimnair. You are listening to the brand new show called It's All Connected, which replaces the Grim Leftover Show. Yeah, I was, uh, I <laughs> this is uh, the premiere, the pilot episode of uh, this show. Uh, and it's going to be on every Monday night here on uh, RLM Radio with me as your host, Grimner. RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. That opening music that you heard there is what I am considering uh, using as my uh, opening theme music. It comes from Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech.com. That track is called Volatile Reaction. Volatile Reaction. Uh, and so i gotta, I got to do some work on it and play with it a bit, but uh, I like the sound of it. It's, it's got that uh, kind of Planet of the Apes feel to it. Anybody else get that Planet of the Apes feel going on there? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to be doing this show every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, just like I used to do the Grim Leftover show. And uh, I, 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 let me just read to you my little, my little bit that I have here uh, on on my um, on on the page uh, itself that I wrote up for this, uh, and, and see and see what you think about it. Um, okay. From my new show page, it's all connected. Uh, this show will attempt to show you how everything is connected. The subject matter makes no difference. The connections are real and tangible. I will pick a starting point for the show's discussion and draw verbal lines to the surrounding connections and maybe those surrounding that. Uh, this show is an experimental project with no template to work from. Hopefully, this will work smoothly week after week, and the content covered is coherent and understandable, both to the listener and to me. So, uh, wish me luck with all this, because I, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm going to do or, or what I'm going to talk about, other than the fact that everything is connected, and you could. As that little blurb, opening blurb said, uh, one thing that's connected is my dry mouth to this bottle of water. Ah, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, when I say everything is connected, I mean everything is connected. It's all connected. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so... And you could, all right, all right. I see. I don't. I don't have a. I didn't have any time to do any research on any specific uh, things uh, today or throughout this previous week. I've been considering uh, various formats and thoughts and making the graphics and the, uh, trying to figure out all the parts and pieces how they go together. And they do all go together, just like everything else goes together. Uh, if you can take time and see it in that way. Um, so, you, you yourself, you yourself, are you connected to everything else? Yes. Yes, you are. Every Everything is connected. And when I say to everything else, I, I don't mean um, just to all the rest of the people in the world, although that's all there. Uh, but I mean to every part of this particular physical version of this particular universe, <laughs> uh, whether it be uh, the Earth here, uh, Mars over there, uh, Pluto, which is still a planet. Yes, Pluto is a planet. It was never not a planet, no matter what somebody said. Um, or, or the next galaxy over, or the galaxies all the way across the other side of the universe the other side well if the universe is spherical um yeah <laughs> so but you're all connected to every point in the universe all at one time but here on earth and looking at things in an earthly manner and looking at things that we see every day coming at us uh, you, you think well, the, these two things couldn't possibly be connected, but they are. But they are. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat here. Let's see. Vinny is talking about anuses. 
Um, I, I don't know why, but that's Vinny for you. Um, and Chloe is saying that money did not create or buy the universe. Of course not. Uh, money is a, is a manufactured concept like, like most everything else we live with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, yeah, people just, you know, come up with ideas and say, well, this is what it is. Uh, whether, whether, whatever part of the society you want to, uh, look at that from. Uh, is, because that's that's what we're dealing with, generally speaking, society, uh, the way people interact with one another. Um, oh, your anus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so, but uh, let's just take the, the current the current day situation, uh, and and the things that we see springing up and being thrust into our face like they're the only things out there. The only things that matter, this corona nonsense, uh, well, what's that connected to? It appears to be connected to, from my perspective, from the way I see it, from where I sit or where I stand, uh, to imposition of a global tyranny. Uh, you can call it a new world order if you want, uh, or, or you can call it uh, medical magic. Uh, some people, a lot of people actually, most people probably, are buying it or believing it. Well, that's fine. That That's good um, because it's out there and it's being pushed on us. So whether we want to believe it or not, uh, it, it's surrounding us. It's enveloping us. It's smothering us. Uh, see, Free Enslaved is talking about something called Chimatica. I'm not sure what that is. Let's uh, let's see here. He, he said it's a, it's a full movie called Chimatica, and it's posted on the YouTube's here. And uh, let's see if it gives a description, because uh, it, it may be it may pertain to what I'm talking about here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the questions that have remained timeless and profound throughout history have been all but left for dead. There have been messages left in scripture, archaeological remains, shamanic traditions, philosophy poetry, art, and music. As we move closer to the apex or an apex of intellectual and intellectual information, we find ourselves further and farther away from feeling any comfort and wholeness within our hearts and souls. Uh, yet, even though the concept of spirituality should have been long gone by now, we are seeing an awakening among people uh, and growth and desire for truth. Okay, well, it sounds great. Um, I'll I'll keep it uh, bookmarked for a uh, later on. Thanks for that, free enslaved. Um, but back back to where I was on the uh, like I said, the corona, or 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 if you want the the uh, global protesting going on over a person that was possibly, supposedly, maybe killed, uh, named George Floyd. And all and how that spread globally as quickly as it did, it spread as quickly, more quickly than the corona nonsense spread. Uh, corona virus, if if you prefer, because a lot of people, like I said, they're they're thinking that, they're believing that, they're buying that, uh, and they and they think it's real, uh, and maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I, I who am I? I'm just I'm just a guy sitting here. Uh, looking at things through my lens, through the lens that I have, uh, or the variety of lenses that I have, and and there are, I do have, and we all do have uh, many lenses in which we view various things going on around the world and uh, throughout the universe, uh, depending on where our focus is laying. I. But if you look at look at the connections between uh, the corona, well, filters as well. Filters, but I'll, I'll, uh, most girls ask about filters. Says, you know, I, I was talking about lenses. She's talking about filters. Each each lens can have multiple filters, if you prefer, uh, or or you can remove some of those filters and 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 see the same thing in different ways and see the connections. Uh, between each thing in various ways. Uh, okay, 
let's, let's back off the the, uh, the the corona stuff for a bit and, and just go to like okay you get up in the morning and and you see the world pretty much as you saw it the previous morning but there'll be little differences little changes and and you, <laughs> hang on, my brain. See, see, I should have. I really, I really should have done some uh, further work on this because because my mind is is not uh, clicking in on a lot of uh, my thoughts and and uh, such things going on here. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Woodman uh, points out, or Meisterbrow, I should say, uh, points out. Take a couple hits of acid, then you will see the connections. Um, yeah, you will see far more connections on that, and I, I know I'm having what, what do you what, what do you call it a uh, crisis of confidence here because I'm not used to doing this. I'm so good at like pulling up news stories and going through those and picking those apart, but just going on here and just talking about stuff, uh, I I am unfamiliar. I'm, I'm in unfamiliar territory, unknown territory. I guess is. Uh, that's a Whitley Strieber thing, I do believe. Or maybe not. I, I thought it was Whitley. I think it's Whit, Whitley Strieber, but I could be wrong. And boy, did he go through some unknown territory. Thanks, Flash. Thanks, Moose. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Which, by the way, if anybody wants to call in and comment, let me know and I'll turn the uh, the wire on. I don't, I don't typically keep wire on because... It's a little quirky, um, but I turn it on when I need it. It works fine. Uh, anyway, so where was I? Oh, yeah, you get up in the morning, and you see the world around you. You see the various things uh, in your house. You look outside the window, and you see things. You st stuff is growing, uh, and, and you go, wow, that's great. There's these, these plants just spring up out of nowhere, but they're not just springing out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah all right I, I get distracted by the chat too um anyway they 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 come from a seed but what's a, this tiny little seed and it can spring into a monstrous plant huge plant or just a just a tiny little plant and that each one of those plants will produce more seeds which will produce more life more plants uh, and, but but you think of it. Think of think of the seed, the seed itself. And and where did where where you know you, you always hear the the the, the question, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, what came first, the uh, the dandelion or, or the seeds for the dandelion? And in order for that to grow, it would need earth. To be to be planted in, it has to it has to have something to grow in, and that earth has to be uh, properly mineralized and have all the proper nutrients there in it. And then there's got to be water, and then you got to have the sun. All of these things to grow this this little thing that nobody well not say nobody because I know people here are different. People here understand the benefits of the dandelion, but in general, out there in public. People look out in their yard, they see dandelions, and they go, Damn it! I got weeds growing out there! I gotta get rid of those things! Without without ever stopping to consider what that is. And the wonder of, of, of how it actually even came to be. And so they walk out there in their yard, and they come across various insects crawling around in the dirt. And they're like, Wow, I'm getting all these bugs, I'm gonna get me some bug spray and mutilate all these things. And again, never really considering, uh, well, where does these bugs, I mean, there's, there's so many, millions, millions of uh, varieties of, of, of uh, various insects and other moving, moving wildlife out there. It could be uh, mice or squirrels or birds or who knows? You've got all kinds of different things. But they all, they all come from, from, from the same single source i guess you could say uh and and you can i'm I, you know i'm not going to tell you what that is you that's up for you to draw your own conclusions from but understanding that we're all existing within the same sphere here on this planet called earth um 
uh, and that the Earth is existing in a, a larger sphere called the the uh, the Sol, the solar system of Sol. That's I do believe the name of our our solar system, uh, which exists within the Milky Way galaxy, which exists with out there out there in the uh, in the in the greater universe. Um, but that that we all now, if you look at hang on, let me let me sidebar for a moment. If if you look at the image that I made or that I put together, assembled, it would be a better way to to phrase it. The image that I assembled for this show, it's got in the background like a either a galaxy or the universe or whatever, um, uh, and, and lay I overlaid on top of that a picture of a brain. And the brain has flowing through it frequency waves, various waves of frequency. And overlaying, overlaying on top of the brain, I added a Fibonacci spiral. Now, I'm not sure if you're all familiar with a Fibonacci spiral, but you should be. Because everything, all the things you're going to find in nature, you're, you're going to find... The Fibonacci spot, not everything, but all of the things that are growing and that are alive, you're going to find the Fibonacci spiral in many ways, uh, which there's, the Fibonacci is a, a sequence of numbers uh, that, that you can uh, actually calculate out or down, uh, depending on the direction you're going. Uh, but, but say you start with a, uh, uh, a rectangle that's like two by three or whatever, and, and then uh you you cut the cut it into third one one third at the end and so you have one third that's that's uh of the square and you overlay that third onto onto the original and so you have the the, the original rectangle then becomes a 2 by 2 and uh the other one is, is the 2 by 3 that overlays on top of that um and, and so and then you can cut that that new uh rectangle uh, down to a third, and then you'll have another one down below that. And you can keep cutting that down and down and down, or expanding it out and out and out. Uh, but in nature, uh, you're going to find it in, in those dandelions I was talking about, uh, or in uh, pretty much everything, like I said, out there that's living, you're going to find these Fibonacci spirals, which are... Um, <laughs> which which you can you can look for them and understand where they where they how all of this relates to the frequencies uh, that are flowing through around and into all of us. Now in the chat here, uh, people are posting up what, what the Fibonacci sequence is. But if you look up the Fibonacci spiral as well as the the sequence, uh, you'll 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 see uh, how how it overlays. On just just tons, of, yeah. They, right, that that was last link that was posted in there by Moose Girl, uh, Insteading dot com. Uh, the Fibonacci sequence. They put they put one of those shells up there, which shows you uh, the Fibonacci sequence going on, the Fibonacci spiral. Uh, then they show you a hurricane, how that that overlays, and uh, a, a, a galaxy of some sort of spiral galaxy. Uh, so all all of these things. Oh, here's a, here's a good image of it. Okay. Uh, the guy, the guy had a uh, eight by um, thirteen, eight by thirteen uh, rectangle. Here he cut that down so it was uh, eight by eight, and then it was the other five. He took that five off. Uh, it should have been six, I think, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so and he cut, cut it down, and cut it down, and cut it down. Uh, and and uh, uh, there is one part of this that I don't get. There is, there is one part of the Fibonacci. Uh, spiral Fibonacci sequence I don't get, which is when you get down to the last one, you have two identical ones, and then and then you can take them on out. Um, what I'm not sure what he said there. Flash somebody says, "Your comfort is my cos." C H O S. I'm not sure what that word means. Obviously, it's a typo of some sort, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> what he meant by that. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, all right. See, they got it. Show it laid over a chicken egg. They got it over broccoli, uh, aloe plants, just all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I said, pretty much everything that's living chaos. It, it, but oh, okay. Well, uh, my my uh, 
comfort is pretty much in chaos. All right. I, I See, I don't need to know that. Flash, I, it, you keep that information there to yourself. That's a, I think you have pills for that. <laughs> All right. Sorry, just, 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 just laughing. Just making myself laugh there a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But we, we have we have on this uh, radio network, I'll call it a network, although it's just individuals coming on to a single radio stream and doing shows, so I don't know how much of a network we are, but whatever. Uh, but we have a show on this network called Dropping a Coil, and if you look at the coils, you're going to see, hey, that, that coil there, that, that's also uh, the, the Fibonacci uh, sequence going on um, but they use those coils to generate energy but the energy itself where does it come from it it comes from the universe from from the your surroundings from all over the place <laughs> you guys this chat's too funny sometimes that I, and I and I I shouldn't read it while I'm doing the show but I have to <laughs> Oh, man. So, anyway, um, okay. Which direction should I take this? See, that, when I do the show next week, I'll have a, a particular thing that I can get into and branch off from. Uh, I didn't have anything for this. I spent I spent so much time this week uh, putting together graphics, or, uh, putting together the pages, um, it, it's a lot of work putting together a brand new show on the, on this uh, uh, for for Real Liberty Media. There, there's so many elements involved, uh, and and again, those two are all connected. Uh, for example, in order to put up the show page itself, just a basic show page, which really does it has nothing on it other than a, a little bit of information, a player, some links, things like that. But those links link to other pages. Uh, or, or other elements uh, which are connected to the particular show, which have to be created uh, prior uh, to to me finish. So I have to start the show page, and then after I start the show page, uh, I have a couple a couple different uh, things for the streams that I have to put in there. So I have to go into those streams, and I have to create a category for those, and I got to create anyway. So all these these lines, these invisible lines. That nobody sees. I mean, if you go to the page and uh, the website and look, everything just looks like stuff. You know, it's just there, and and you go there and you click over there and you do that and everything. And it, it all looks, uh, and it should, uh, technically, uh, flow very smoothly there on the website when you go, when you go to a particular page, uh, and it, and it takes you says go look, click here for that, or it doesn't say it just provides a link. Uh, and and you, you don't really see that, but even beyond that, beyond beyond the website itself, comes the underlying uh, content management system, uh, which on for for reallibertymedia dot com is, is uh, WordPress or rlmradio.xyz. It's it's just HTML, uh, but but those things HTML had to be created in order for WordPress to be created, but in order for HTML to be created, uh, they there had to be a computer. Somebody had to create that. Uh, and in order for a computer to be created, all kinds of various electronic components had to be created, and somebody had to figure out how to put, put all those together and in order to get them to do what they needed to do in order to produce an output for you to see there on your screen or uh, coming through your ears and your headset. But if there was no electricity, if there was no energy, uh, then then none of that would have come into be. So where's the electricity coming from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, everything, everything, and it comes down to it's all connected. Because uh, if it weren't for humans, and then where did humans come from? See, humans, and then brains per, that are uh, that are processing thoughts and forming logic 
uh, between a variety of synapses in the brain. Uh, so you had to have all, all of this stuff starting from wherever it started from. And that's always where it gets tricky, doesn't it? Isn't, isn't that... Isn't that the part where everything gets tricky is where did it start? How did everything, anything come into being to begin with? Because you can draw all the conclusions beyond that that you want. But when you get to that point of the beginning, of whether it's this universe or any one of the many uh, parallel or alternate universes, which that's a whole nother story, because there are unlimited number of parallel and alternate universes. Um, uh, so uh, they all came from maybe a single point. I mean, that's what we're taught. That's what we're told, right, uh, by these uh, so-called experts out there that say everything started from this this big bang. There was nothing. There was a void. And then suddenly the void exploded. I mean, the, a certain spot there somewhere in the big void exploded and caused what they call a, a big bang. Uh, that, that nothing became everything. Nothing became everything we know. Now, apparently this, this tiny little dot, whatever it was, was so dense that it was pushing in on itself. But where where did the tiny dot come from? Why was that there? Why what why why was there matter in the middle of nothing? <laughs> All right. I, I don't uh, <laughs> the primordial soup. Well, and, and that was something else that happened. Okay. Uh, the primordial soup that that, that 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 sprung up here on Earth after just stuff exploded, and then some of it come back together and formed these various planets. One of the planets it formed was the Earth, and then the Earth congealed all that stuff together and compressed it and compacted it, and and various elements separated themselves out, where you had your land, your water, your uh, Various things, and then something happened in, in what they call the primordial soup uh, that actually caused life to spring forth from that nonsense. And then this one form of life, whatever it was, that came out of this dunk uh, that they call the primordial soup, uh, turned into all the millions and millions of uh, various life forms that are here now. Uh, and 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 the the rocks and the volcanoes and the trees and the uh, everything, but they're they're all part of the same source. They're all part of we are all part of that same source. Everything is. <laughs> all right. Oh man, I um I I don't I don't know where to go else with today. I, if anybody has any any concept or something they want to throw at me in the chat there, let me know, and I'll see if I can't draw something off of it. But um, I, I, he said I didn't I didn't really have time to to put together a, something and study something. Uh, see, uh, Vinny says that science proves devolution, or, or it also proves evolution. Um, uh, and 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 so okay, science actually doesn't prove anything. Science only hypothesizes, only theorizes, and you can only test hypotheses. You can't prove anything via science. You could say it's likely this is what happened, but you can't absolutely say it. And uh, Flash is asking me, where does the meteor come in? Well, there's millions and millions and millions of meteors floating around in our solar system alone, not to mention the larger galaxy and further on out there. Uh, so where do they come in? Uh, they were some of the rocks that never got turned into planets, apparently. Uh, and so if, if you believe or consider the single point Big Bang style theory uh, to be accurate in any way, uh, 
or plausible, I should say, rather than accurate, being as it is a theory. Uh, Moose Girl is asking me, what about time before pre-religion? Well, um, I, I mean, I, I don't think the first Homo sapien, and, and we'll start there, Homo sapien, rather than uh, some of the previous ones. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll get to that later. Uh, but but, uh, but I, I don't think the first Homo sapiens that were um, out there, uh, which apparently evolved from other Homo erectus uh, forms of life, um, started immediately saying something about religion or believing in religion. But things happened to them along the way. Things happened, and then they were going, how did that happen? We don't understand this. Is this... What, what, how, what caused this? What, what, was it just magical, or did some external being bring this, bring this along, uh, bring this and and make this happen? Hang on a second here. Um, Rob Work says he thinks the planets are born from the sun, which is highly plausible as well. Uh, that there's no reason that that could not be true, and it would make sense that uh, that, that that it is true. Again, though, with all theories, there's uh, not not really that much evidence. Flash says that a meteor doesn't seem connected, but it is. It is in the fact that it's energy, and it's <laughs> and, it, and it's connected, and you are connected to it. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Beetle talking about nonsense here. I'm going to skip him. <laughs> Thanks, Beetle. <laughs> Try to distract me in your boat. Um, all right. Oh, and uh, Christine's father, Frieden, uh, says that God is the source and your source. But you see, and 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 and, and whether I agree to that or not, um, it comes down to the simple, basic question that I brought up previously: is when you get down to the beginning down to the very core of where it all came from. Where did, where, 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 where did God come from? And I know the answer is, he always was. He always was and he always will be. I know that's the, the, the answer. But it's, it, it's kind of, it, 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 it's not that satisfying that he always was. It's it just it doesn't. There's no. I, you, you can't wrap your hands around it, your mind around it. How how how? You had to come from somewhere, right? <laughs> you had to come from somewhere. <laughs> that's that's the thing, um, and uh, I, I <laughs> just so. <clears throat> But assuming and, and, and stating that, okay, God exists and God created everything and God is the source. And that, that is the connection. That draws the connection between everything. Um, see, that's simple. And, and, but to get there, to get there, to get to that point, you have to have that, this, element, this belief, this faith, uh, th that, th that that is accurate and that that is true. And, and knowledge, I guess, that yes, that, that, that that's correct. So I, I, I yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Flash points out here in, in, in the chat that, and Jews are his favorites. Which, if you read the the Bible, the Jews being the chosen ones, there, um, oh, I, I guess that would be true. But let's say you have uh, the U.S. of A. and they want to go and take over some other country, and the, and, and you have this other country, and they both say to themselves, "We have God on our side." Can that be true for both sides? Do they? Maybe they do. And how how does how then is it decided who wins? Is it the one who's who's got more 
uh, more faith in the God or the one that's got the more firepower. Uh, <laughs> It's a sticky wicket. Let me put it that way. It's a sticky wicket. Um, when you get down to that point, but I'll buy it. I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, I, I mean, look, everything came from something, and we don't know what it was or how it happened, but we're part of it. And you see yourself here in this physical realm, in this three-dimensional physical body and you think this is me but this is not you this is not you you are not this body you are your spirit you are your energy your being your your life force whatever however you want to call it your soul uh, and, and and you're only here in this physical form for a very, very brief period of time. A hundred years is generally uh, max, and gen that's mostly beyond max. But the planet, apparently, has been here for many billions of years. And the solar system for many billion more. And, <laughs> and, and if you try and measure a hundred years on a scale of a billion... You're not even going to see that hundred. It won't even be a, uh, I mean, you, you, the scale would be so big you couldn't see it if you wanted to discern where that hundred was. Uh, so we're nothing. We, we, this, we, I say we, nothing. The, we in these bodies that we're presently in are nothing. Uh, I, I'm not making sense. I'm making sense. I'm not making sense. I am making sense. I'm, I'm making sense, but I, I, I'm, 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 I'm uh, losing uh, pathway to where I want to go with this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it, the thing, it, it, I, I'm just, I have so many jumbles in my mind when I, when I come to something like this. Um, so I come back to, to something uh, that that's pertinent and real in here in the universe. At this point in time, we're here on the earth. At this point in time, is here that's in our face. And again, back to the tyranny that's being pushed pushed around the globe on a global scale. The tyranny being pushed on a global scale, tied to this coronavirus, and tied to this uh, these these uprisings over the police brutality, which has been going on for centuries. Police brutality has been going on since the Britain police. Uh, you, you give somebody the kind of power to go out and, and club somebody down, they're going to go out and club somebody down. <laughs> oh, it's difficult, Christine. Uh, it's difficult remaining focused uh, without... See, like I said, at the, at the top there, I, I'm so good at, you know, I, I don't have any plan. And, and all of my other shows, I have some kind of a plan. Things that I, when I come on, I got stuff to talk about. It's all kind of laid out for me. Uh, I can take somebody else's words and tear them apart and, and show you why that's messed up or, or this is correct or whatever. Uh, and with a show like this, uh, especially on this one where I didn't have an actual starting point, um, <laughs> I, I and, and you're right, Christine. It's possible I should have skipped a week, but I but I didn't. I wanted to to to, to roll it out and get a get a feel for it, get my uh, hands wrapped around it a little bit, uh, you know, to to know uh, what what I was up against and where I was going. Um. <laughs> yeah, no framework, and there is no framework. And there will be no framework. I, I mean, really, really, on, on the on the future editions of the show, other than a starting point. I, I just need a good starting point. And, and all I started with, the starting point in this is so broad, so broadly based, uh, that I, <laughs> that 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 I, that I scatter in various directions. 
uh, and and you know again uh reading into the reading the chat and getting all that um all that information thrown at me different perspectives different points of view uh and and trying to roll those in you see it's 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 uh i will i will get better at this uh, just like anything the first time you do it you're probably not going to be really good at it but as you do it time and time again and you get more comfortable with it um you you, you start filling in but you got to actually do it you, you got to actually practice it you, you got to go through the steps um of of, of from concept to reality uh, yeah, my brain is loosely connected. <laughs> oh man! So so I, I <laughs> so I mean I don't mind. I'm, I'm comfortable coming on the radio and just talking. Um, but again, uh, generally with with talking points that I have pre lined up. Uh, for example, uh, you know that uh, on the like like on on, on the, the the Grim Leftovers show, everything was all boom 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 bulleted out the way I set it up ahead of time, knowing how long every little thing was going to take, knowing uh, what 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 needed to be done for each thing, and knowing that I just needed to go back and reread uh, as I was going through a show. <laughs> you people are funny, um, uh, and and they just say point out that this is wrong because of that, and this is wrong in my view. Which, of course, whether I, they were wrong or not, that's, again, that's all up to me. Um, uh, so, anyway, I do appreciate your uh, your uh, your support there, guys, in the chat. I, I do. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always fun. Uh, but I, I, think, I, I, think, I think this is good enough for now. 45 minutes. I plan, to, I plan on making it an hour show, but, uh, uh, y you know, um, whether well, – I, I think – that this show can be a variable time length. Uh, plan on an hour. If I go a little less, I'm good. If I go longer, I'm good. Um, it, it's not a regimented show, regimented time frame show. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, I, I don't think. Um, the starting point is good. The starting point is fine uh, to always start at 7 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. my time. Uh, that that works out, but for me, but 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 I think uh, as far as the length of the show, that that could be a variable. Um, go till you finish. That's always a good idea. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, yeah, I'll, I I will uh, I will have a uh, definite starting point next week. Um, and and be able to build from that, and I will uh, be able to do a little uh, more informational researches. Uh, in because see the connections, the connections that I'm talking about, saying it's all connected, and it is. And whether you look at that um, uh, in a in a physical way, or in a time way, or in a variety of other ways. Uh, because the connections, as far as time, because time is a concept, it's not a reality. Uh, but but if you look at things on a timeline, uh, going back and going forth w within the world that we're living in, it's a linear. Uh, linear I'm, I'm sitting here right now talking to you with my eyes closed. Do you know why? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not telling you. Uh, all right, but. Uh, but on that timeline, you could draw lines back and forth on that, or in in the physical 3D realm of uh, this universe, this uh, planet, the solar system, that your human body, your inside your house, you can draw lines out to everything surrounding you uh, to to see those connections. But there's a lot of things where you can't see them, and, and as was pointed out early on in this show. Uh, there are certain substances which will let your mind grow, go, see uh, beyond uh, the, the limited scale that is pushed upon it by uh, the, everything you're taught throughout your life. And we're, we're all taught all kinds of stuff. Like if, 
if 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 you can't see it, smell it, or measure it, then it's not real, and that that's a bad that that's that's a horrible horrible way of looking at things. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> See, I open my eyes for a second, and I see that Rome's uh, trust no one hates 3D Realms. Well, 3D Realms made some really good games um, <laughs> back in the day. I don't think they're around any longer. <laughs> of course, that may not be the 3D Realms he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Now, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to call it a show. Um, tomorrow, though, at... Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on RLM Radio is Flash and hopefully Grammy or some other co-hostage on his show in a perfect world, which we all know that's 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 not something we can have. There's there's no such thing as a perfect world. Um, <laughs> then on Wednesday we we still got Wednesday wide open, and I would really like to have a show on Wednesday if anybody wants to do a show on Wednesday. Uh, if not, I do embr- I I do enjoy having a day when there's no show uh, for my own personal thing. But oh, Mary is joining you tomorrow. Terrific! So we'll have Flash and Grammy tomorrow in a perfect world, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I, <laughs> anyway, um, so check the schedule. There's a schedule posted up there on RealLibertyMedia.com. Although this show is not on the schedule yet. See, I knew I was forgetting some stuff. And that's one of the things I forgot to do, is add this show to the schedule, uh, or, or change the schedule to reflect the changes. Anyway, um, Moose Girl and myself will be here on Friday night for the Freakers Ball at our normal time, 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and so, so, you know, uh, we always have fun doing that. Um, I guess that's it. I have to, fi- I, now I have to figure out how to, how to blog this show. I don't really know how to blog this show. <laughs> but we'll get I'll get it. Oh, thanks, Rob. Thanks everybody. Free anti Moose Girl, Christine, Vinny, uh, who am I forget who am I? Rome's, Matt, uh Vin, did I say Vinny? Beetle Beetle <laughs> Free Enslaved. Oh these are the people I see chatting. There's a whole ton of people chatting here and I'm just kinda of scrolling. Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All right. Take it all. Take it easy, everybody. Talk to y'all later. Bye.